Yes, I've had sexual intercourse with her. Yes. But only in the biblical sense. <laughs> Good morning. Sir, it is a good morning. <laughs> sir is handsomely right to say so. <laughs> yes, right. Was Sir aware, I'm in the business of wondering, uh, that I made so bold as to remark to the youngest of my mothers earlier today on the goodness of the morning as she wheeled me into an upright position? Was Sir in an awareness of that? Uh, no, no, I had no idea. Here is a morning, mother of my bosom, I averred, as fine and crisp and gutty as any since the days that Compton and Edridge opened for England and the sun never went down on the British without asking permission first. <laughs> did you? <clears throat> sir, I did. I did, sir. And if two broad-shouldered, long-fingered young men such as ourselves can come independently to the conclusion that the morning they are currently experiencing is one of a goodness, then one of a goodness it most assuredly is. Really? Really, sir, and you can spank me quietly with a chamois leather if it isn't, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. But, sir, didn't come into this shop to trade insults with me on the state of the morning, unless I am more vastly mistaken than a man who thinks that Hilaire Belloc is still alive. No, no, I... Uh... Do sit down, sir. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Um... No, sir, has brought his fine, handsomely <laughs> wrought young frame into this shop with the express purpose of going about the business of buying some jewellery. Am I close to the mark? Uh, yes, that's more or less right, yes. <laughs> Do you mind if we stand up, sir? I think perhaps your sitting down idea was a little ahead of its time. Um, yes, now the thing is, um, I'm getting engaged next week. Would you like an opal fruit? <laughs> a nice strawberry opal fruit, or indeed any flavour? Oh, well, yes, yes, that would be very nice, thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I won't be long. <laughs> Where are you going? Where am I going? Yes. Uh, there is a sweet shop not two miles away from here. <laughs> and I happen to know that they sell opal fruits. No, 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 really. <laughs> really, don't bother. Don't bother? No, really. Is Sir uh, in absolute possession of sureness in this regard? Uh, no, no. I just came in here for an engagement ring. I merely thought that if you, you know, if you had an opal fruit on you... On me? Sir, I have no opal fruit on me. <laughs> I can and will go further. I have never had an opal fruit on me. Perhaps I would like to check the top of my head if he remains unconvinced. No, look, can we just forget about the opal fruit? The opal fruit is irrelevant if we just concentrate on the engagement ring. Sir, I am chastened and bowed. Ever the man of affairs, sir, has reminded us all, all of our duty. An engagement ring for sir. That's right. What flavour of engagement ring have you in mind? <laughs> flavour? What are you talking about? Just my little joke. You'll humour a dying man. <laughs> range of engagement rings, which I would ask Sir to cast over with Sir's eyes, which I cannot help but notice are of a startling cobalt blue that would go very well with the wallpaper in one of my godniece's back rooms. <laughs> right, I'm leaving. How about this one, Sir? What? This one here, Sir. Uh, well, yes, that's... that's quite nice. Sir, the issue of the quite niceness of this particular ring has been raised in Prime Minister's question time. <laughs> well, how much is this one? I would be wrong to let it go for more than 40,000 of your earth pounds. <laughs> 40,000 pounds? I would be equally at fault if I let it go for less than 90. Right, so, it's between 40,000 pounds and 90. Sir is as dogged in his pursuit of detail as Roy Walker, presenter of the never-popular catchphrase, is dogged in his pursuit of a thick earlet. <laughs> yes. Perhaps you could, in preference to me walking out of here just after hitting you very hard in the face, just tell me the frigging price. Since Sir uh, has been kind enough never to be Peter Sissons, I can let him have it for 218 poundingtons. 218 pounds. Uh, 218 pounds, that should be. That's what I said. That's what you said. I barely spoke at all. Right, well, could you put it in a presentation box, please? There's no need, sir. I'll wear it straight away. <laughs> I beg your pardon? And I really think you should talk to Father. He's upstairs in the cellar. <laughs> right, now I really am leaving. Leaving? But we're engaged. Goodbye. Men are such bastards. <laughs> <laughs>